Hi Imagineers, happy Wednesday. Today's read aloud is a classic and one of Miss Mary's favorites, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. You guys ready? It's a good one. Once there was a little girl named Goldilocks. She looked like a little angel, but she was really a little troublemaker. She was naughty from the first thing in the morning all through the day to the last thing at night. And she never ever did as she was told. Mmm, naughty, naughty. Please go and get some bread for the vi from the village, said Goldilocks's mother one day. Go straight there, she said firmly. I will, said Goldilocks. Hmm. But Goldilocks soon wandered off. She saw smoke billowing from the chimney of a small cottage. What a funny little house, she thought. You see the little house? She pressed her face against the window. No one at home, she thought with a grin. She pushed open the front door and a terrifically tasty smell wafted out. Mmm, can you smell something, friends? Goldilocks skipped inside. There on a table were three bowls of porridge. Ah. First, she tried the biggest bowl. Her face flushed bright red. Too hot, she gasped. Then she tried the medium bowl. Ooh, too cold. Last of all, she tried the little bowl. It was the yummiest, scrummiest porridge she'd ever tasted. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What's next, she thought. In front of the crackling fire were three chairs. First, she tried the biggest one. Too hard, she said. Then she tried the medium one. Too soft, she said. Last of all, she sat down on the smallest chair. Just right. Uh-oh, then it snapped and the little wooden chair collapsed. I need a nap, yawned Goldilocks. She ran up the stairs and came to a big, bright bedroom. First, she tried the biggest bed. Too high, she puffed. Then she tried the medium bed. Too deep, she cried. Last of all, she tried the smallest bed. She climbed on top and rested her head on the soft downy pillow. Ah, she said, just right. Pulling the blankets up to her chin, she snuggled down and fell fast asleep. She is. Meanwhile, the owners of the home returned. Who left the front door open, cried Father Bear. Not me, said Mother Bear. Not me, said Baby Bear. And they went inside.
Hey, someone's been eating my porridge, M grumbled Father Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, sighed Mother Bear. And someone's been eating my porridge, sniffed Baby Bear. And they've eaten it all up. Worse was to come. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Father Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mother Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, and they've broken it to pieces, said Baby Bear. Just then, they heard snoring. The three bears followed the noise upstairs. What a mess. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, cried Father Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Mother Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Baby Bear. And she's still in it. Goldilocks woke up to, with a start to find the three grumpy bears glaring at her. She leaped from her bed, she scrambled downstairs, and she ran outside. She didn't stop running until she got home. I'm really sorry for not doing what I was told, Goldilocks said to her mother. I promise I will never, ever be naughty again. And she never was. Well, almost never. <laughs> Wasn't that a great one, friends? Goldilocks and the three bears. Hmm, what was she trying to sneak at the end? Something out of that cookie jar. Have a great day, Imagineers.